Okay, so we're back at the table now, and um, I'm going to weigh up my ingredients as I calculated them to be. So the first one I calculated was my binding and colouring agents, and I calculated that I need 53.3 of that in my mix to be able to make my 100 brown sugar tablet. So I'll just scoop this up, get it all on the spoon, get it in there, don't waste a bit. Fifty-three point three. I've gone slightly over fifty-four, fifty-three point nine, fifty-three point seven. There we go. Fifty-three point three. And then on top of that, I'm going to add my ten grams of brown sugar as I calculated it. So I'm now going to take the mix up to sixty-three point three. And there it is. And next, we're going to mix it all up. And as I said previously, um, I do sell mixers on my website and they are definitely a very, very, very worthwhile investment. Um, if you're working with something very crystalline um, and it's in big chunks, then the best thing to do would be to use a mortar and pestle to reduce it down to smaller granules like sugar or if you don't have access to a mortar and pestle or if you're going to be doing it on a very large scale then I am also able to get hold of granulators. If you just go to the contact us section of our webpage and let us know what you require we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Now that that's all mixed up we will move back over to the press and we will tablet up these uh, 100 tablets. Okay, so we're back at the press and we've got our active ingredient that's been mixed really, really thoroughly now with our um, binding agent. And we're going to uh, spoon feed this into there. Well, try not to get it everywhere, but it's only brown sugar. Not and the first thing that we're going to do, which you should really get into good working practice, which is a very good working practice thing to do, is we're going to crank the first tablet out by hand. That just ensures that our new tablet mix, our new active ingredient, it's going to work, it's not going to damage our machine. So here we go. We are putting out the first tablet by hand, and yep, it clicks over, and yep, it comes out, and yes, we have one brown speckled brown sugar vitamin tablet. So we're now going to put on the machine and do a run and hopefully, minus the powder that I just stupidly chucked on the floor, we should get as near to 100 tablets as is possible. <laughs> we got. Um, as you can see just here there is a little bit of overspill. What I tend to do is I tend to set up a tin foil tray around the base of the press. I calculate that spill to be between 5 and 10 percent. If you're doing a big run obviously use a painter's brush, a dry paint brush to scoop it onto the tin foil around the base of your press and then just pop it back in at the shoot, back in on the shoot and then you can reduce your loss down to about 1%, maybe half a percent on a really big run so you're really not losing a lot, it's not a lot to, to be worried about. So we're back at the table and I've uh, lined them up into rows of 10 except for this 10 which you can see is 4 short. So we got 96 uh, tablets out of our mix that was meant to create a hundred which is fantastic I'm pretty happy with that kind of accuracy it's just four percent out and as you saw when I was filling the machine I did actually spill a little bit so I'm not too disappointed in that at all and if I pop on the scales hopefully and take any one of these random tablets it should weigh about 0 0.6 so 0 0.7 but these are already single digit scales I mean if we put 
10 on there, 10 random ones. What are we going to get? Hopefully we're going to get about 6 grams, which would work out perfect. Well, I suppose it's going to work out slightly more because it's six, 0 0.63 per tablet, but 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. And there it is. Thank you once again for joining us for this tutorial. And if there's anything else you need, please feel free to contact us through our contact us page on uh, our website, which is londonfashionarts.co.uk. And please look out for further updates on YouTube and on our website. Thank you once again, and we look forward to hearing from you.